Close your eyes and watch your breath. Your mind has been running around all morning. Give it a chance to sit down and rest and gather its strength together. This is a form of merit. We've been generous. You're sitting here, you're not breaking the precepts. All that's needed now is to develop good qualities in the mind. Qualities like mindfulness, alertness, concentration. Get the mind to settle down, have a sense of well-being inside. When it has that sense of well-being, then it's a lot easier to do what we know is right. We've heard the Dharma so many times. We know a lot about it. The question is, are we actually doing it? Or does it come at a point in the mind that says, well, maybe some other day, maybe some other time. We keep putting it off, putting it off like this. And that knowledge never gets to one, never gets tested, and two, never gets to show its, its real value. So give the mind some strength, give it a place to rest. But not just sleeping rest, the kind of rest where you're watching, the kind of rest where a mother is taking care of a child, the child is now resting, and the mother can sit down and watch the child, but at the same time have a bit of respite at the same time. The watching, that's the work of mindfulness and alertness. Remembering that there are dangers to the mind. You can't just let it be here without any protection. You've got to protect it from things outside and from things inside. Things inside, of course, are your own defilements. Things outside are other people's defilements and their ability to make you do things that are not really in your own best interest. As the Buddha said, we live in a world where there's dangers on both sides. The people out there would like to have you kill and steal and do other unskillful things. And there's part of the mind that's happy to do those things as well. You've got to keep those two things separate from each other, with your mindfulness, with your alertness. Remind yourself that this is not in your best interest. It's not in their best interest either to try to get you to do those things. So for safety on both sides, you want to be alert, you want to be mindful. These are qualities you want to have with you all the time. So you have to develop them. This is how we develop them. The word for meditation in Pali Bhavana means to develop. That's what we're doing. We're developing the qualities that will protect us. As you go through the day, you're protected from your own defilements, you're protected from other people's defilements. And that way you're really safe and strong at the same time. So make sure that your merit is complete. We've got generosity, we've got virtue and meditation all, all together. And that way the happiness that's going to come from our merit is going to be complete as well.